Hello, welcome to Your Best Car. My name's Garrett. I'm going to talk you around this 2017 Golf R, finished in lapis blue. Just before we get started, a few things about us. We're a platinum approved finance provider. That means we can set you up with a monthly payment on this car. We can also take your old car in part exchange, even if you still owe finance on it. We can settle that off and set up an agreement on a new one for you. So back to the car. This is a Golf R 2017. This is the 310 brake horsepower Mark 7.5. Sounds very subtle, an extra 14 horsepower, but it does make a hell of a difference with all the extra goodies which you get on the Mark 7.5. Very well sought after, as in 2019 it went back to 300 horsepower uh, and they had to do some reprogramming on the gearbox and also change the exhaust system for emissions and you don't get quite the same performance out of them. They've also stopped making these as a three door, so these are becoming rarer and more desirable. Four wheel drive and more power than your standard GTI and a few more goodies inside as well. This is a standard Golf R, but it's by no means a standard specification. There's loads of options. Also lights, power fold mirrors, even comes with adaptive cruise control. You don't even get that standard on a Range Rover Sport. Excuse the helicopter taking off behind me. That's uh, the joys of working on an airfield. That big AFT display, that came in on the Mark 7.5. In the center there, you get the larger sat nav screen that's all touch screen as well it'll also pair up with your mobile phone the adaptive cruise control buttons just there by the way dual zone climate control you get heated seats you can see i've already put mine on it's a bit chilly out here today also hold on the automatic gearbox obviously you've got your four motion badge there denoting that it's four wheel drive and good cup holders if you've watched a few of these videos you know i do judge a car by its cup holders in the glove box, you've got your SD card readers, which run the sat-nav, you get your VW book pack, and it's also got VW mats as well. All in really nice condition in here. Doesn't smell of anything really, smells like a brand new car. Isofix in the back, centre armrest, and a couple of vents as well. Really impressive level of specification on these Golfs. There are, of course, a few extra options you can get, but in all honesty, I think the standard car comes so well equipped. I don't know which those bits would be. Onto the outside, all in really nice condition. Lapis blue's got to be one of my favorite colors on this. Really stands out and you don't see that many of them. It comes with two keys. It's a one owner car with full, uh, full Volkswagen service history. Also it's come with a fresh MOT. Plenty of tread on the tires. And as you can see for yourself, been well looked after. Just going around to the boot. I love these as well, they're called adaptive indicators. So you press the button to unlock it, and rather than it flashing once, it slides across. Open up the boot there, you say it's a good sized boot, of course, it's still a practical hatchback. And you get your boot floor, which you can lift up, and underneath a bit more storage, locking wheel, nut torque it, and a spare wheel as well, which is pretty rare on, on one of these. A lot of them come with inflation kits these days, don't they, on, on newer cars. Four exhaust sticking out the back as opposed to the two pea shooters which you get on the GTI model. And obviously the big difference over the GTI is the fact that it's got the extra power and of course four wheel drive, making it a bit more usable all year round. If you're watching this on Auto Trader, then please click the contact seller button or icon on the right hand side there, you can call or email us. If you're watching it on our website, um, then there's a contact us page or you can fill out one of the forms online uh, to get some more information from us. Hope this has been helpful.